Oh, brother. Don't get that. Okay, got it. Are they cute? Oh, they smell kind of weird, though. A little bit like on the fishy side. I really couldn't like creep out of the house. Listen, someone could catch you like that. Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do another try on haul. This time it's from Boohoo, just in time for Halloween. I got tons of pieces that I wanna share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start this try on with the sweatshirt. It says California on it. And I wanted it to be oversized. I got it in a large, but it's really not that large. Like I really could have probably gone two more sizes larger. That way you can get like a bigger comfortable look, but I'm not mad at the way that it looks. I think it looks fine. I just typically like to wear them bigger. Next up, I have a pair of liquid leggings. I feel like I've purchased a few different ones from Boohoo, like some nude ones that are like jogger style. I also got something similar to this, but I keep like returning them because they just don't fit me well. These are a size eight, so I'm hoping that they're gonna fit. They kind of remind me of like Missy Elliott, you know? They're a little, yeah, kind of like, <laughs> in person they kind of look like trash bags, I don't know. Let's try these bad boys on. Oh my God. Girl, these are on my body for sure. Are they cute? Oh, they smell kind of weird though, I'm not gonna lie. Like a little bit like on the fishy side. It feels like it's like one like engaged tuchus away from like just ripping open. I really couldn't like creep out of the house. Not, not, listen, not that I'm going to anyways, but I'm just saying like someone could catch you like that. Friday the 13th oversized tee. Pretty sure that this is like a plus size tee and I'd probably wear this as a dress because it is really long on me. I think it's too much. Let me take off my leggings and then show you guys. They were kind of like sauna pants. Oh no. Oh, that smells so weird. I can't. I wouldn't be confident to like kick it with anybody and try to think I'm cute with these I'm like, I swear it's not me, it's my pants. Like, that that even sounds bad. Mm, 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 mm. See, with my little high heels, way cuter with no pants on. Like, cause it's that long. Or I could just wear it as pajamas, but I think it's cute to wear like this, or you can wear, you know, really short cutoff jeans. That way, you know, if I do any sudden movements, I'm not gonna flash anyone, so there's that. Halloween skeleton knitted jumper dress and I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be oversized. I've got it on kind of like a dress. Let me back up so you guys can see it. Cute, right? Okay. And I have my little new heels on because this is typically how I'd wear it. I don't want my legs to look shorter. I want to show these things off. The only thing is is that it's not like a straight style of a sweater it kind of tapers in and it gets tighter around the thigh area so it kind of like balloons out a little bit you guys see that i wish it was just straight like a dress I'm like ugh. i'm gonna stretch it out a bit very halloweeny duh we're goth next up we have a couple of uh, sweatshirts that i'm going to share with you guys as well this one has a hood and it has some zombies on it it looks kind of like Night of the Living Dead. We're going to Not Scary Farm this upcoming weekend and I'm super excited. Me and my friends are gonna to get together um, to celebrate Halloween and I'm trying to debate like what I should wear. I have another haul coming up from Shein where I show you some other like skeleton Halloween like ghosts and stuff like that are super cute and um, easy to put together your little outfits for like the pumpkin patch or haunted houses, whatever you guys wanna do. Like, Corn maze. I'm like, what else do people do during Halloween? I believe I got this also in a large, so this one runs small as well. I wish it was just like bigger. I want it to be huge. Um, but I still like it. I love me a good crispy new black sweatshirt. Is this too scary for you guys? Is this too ugly? <laughs> I love it. How did I just see this right now that this is a big skull? Next step is another sweatshirt with skulls on it. It's got nightmare on this arm. Oh, it feels like I cut myself somehow. See, I love the way that this one fits a lot better than the last sweatshirt, so I might just keep this one and return the other. What do you guys think? Do you guys like your sweatshirts fitted or do you like them oversized 
like I'm wearing right now. I just think it looks a lot cuter. Like, let me know. If I look crazy, you guys should let me know too, okay? Don't let me, don't let me run around the streets thinking I look cute and I don't. We're friends, so help me out. Okay. Oh. Hello? Oh, okay. All right. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. You're okay. welcome. Okay. You take care. You bye too. Bye-bye. It's a little bit tight, especially around the waist area. Um, it zips right here, kind of like jeans, but it's like the shortest zip in the history of bottoms. Let me get my buttons together. Oh, brother. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this button. It's like such an awkward situation. Hold on. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. Damn, this looks like something I would probably wear to like a country club. Not like country club, like country club, but like a country club, like line dancing that I don't know how to do. This is really, really, really cute. Girl, and it kind of like, doesn't it kind of like do a little bang bang right here? Oh. <laughs> I almost wish I had some fringe because just might as well go big or go home. But I love, love, love it. And it's got little pockets here too. What do you guys think? Next up is a long sleeve turtleneck. I thought it was going to be more of like a mock neck. I didn't think it was going to be like full blown turtleneck. It just looks different on the model. I also thought that there was going to be some kind of like a cord set situation going on in this top. So, I mean, although the color's not bad, it just wasn't what I was expecting, but it does have like ribbing in it. It's definitely not something that I would go directly for if I was like shopping in store at Forever 21 or something like that, you know? So, I mean, it's not bad, but it's like not like, oh my God, you have to get it. Definitely not. And last but certainly not least is this top here. I got it in a size eight, like the majority of the tops in this haul. Um, I have it in red and a neon green. If this is an off the shoulder puff sleeve top. Um, it's got some interesting like crisscross action in the front which helps to like hide any of your little pancita if that's a problem for you. Put this on really quick. It's tight enough where I can get away with wearing a strapless bra but I think this top is so cute for like girls night out. It'd be cute with some short cutoff um, jeans, like some short shorts. I love the way my bra looks hanging out in the back too. And I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a going out shirt and I think it's under 20 bucks too. So pretty affordable and true to size. I have this headband. It's like a gold headband. It's really pretty too because it's got a couple of different strands of gold. I think it's just really pretty. Even if you have your hair up in a ponytail, I feel like it will still look really pretty on your head. You see that? In a recent post, I featured these hair barrettes and it says trick or treat just to put in your hair like this. Isn't that adorable? I also got these little skeleton bands. I'm hoping that they look cute and they don't look like really dorky. They have these little baby clips on the back too, so I'm hoping that it doesn't just like fall apart straight away, but they're little hands. <laughs> they're kind of creepy, but you know, kind of just like fun for Halloween. They're super cheap too. They're only a couple of bucks, so why not? I also got this quilted bag. It's a really good size too, and it's inspired by, you know, I'm sure a ton of different designers have something similar to it. I would start around like Coach, um, Kate Spade, Rebecca Minkoff, and then you gradually go up into like YSL and Chanel have something similar to this. Maybe not in this color per se, but definitely with a quilted design and this kind of like chained um, uh, adjustable straps. Because you could wear it longer if you want to, like this, or you can wear it with two handles like so. This is typically how I wear it or over my shoulder like this. But I absolutely love this bag. Fits a lot of things and it's super lightweight as well. What's in there? Band-aids. 
bunch of band-aids in my purse. I've been wearing a lot of sneakers lately too, so I got some happy face socks. I think these are really cute, especially if you're wearing like cropped um, jeans and your socks peek out just a little bit. So I have these little happy face socks. And I got myself a pair of shoes. These are in a size seven. So I would definitely go smaller if you are in between sizes like me. I typically take a size seven and a half and I went with a seven and these fit perfectly. I'm hoping that I don't get cut up too much in the front. Can you see that like squared off a little bit? Essentially they're like plastic, but they're chunky heeled. So you know I'm gonna be able to wear these for long periods of time or longer periods of time versus like a stiletto sharp little weak ling of a high heel, you know? So there's that. And that's it for today's haul. If the lighting was kind of weird in this video, it's because I literally felt filmed it in like little chunks throughout the day because I had to keep stopping what I was doing, going picking up my son. I went and um, got my brother-in-law from the train station. Like I'm just all over the place and I'm about to go to a football game tonight. So I'm like, I gotta go. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, what you think should stay, what you think should go. Help me out because you know, we're friends. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.